you want to add even a little bit extra to it we can go into the text box right click hit follower modifiers transform let's go to frame 35 the keyframe go back to the beginning go back to our follower and just drag it down a little bit our timing make it something like 0.6 Let's see what that looks like. Maybe we can exaggerate it even more and let's make the order inside out. And of course we come into our spline, get rid of the path, make sure we got the follower selected, zoom the fit, select all, and let's go out back. Cubic, should make it pop pretty good. We can exaggerate that a little bit more. I want it kind of natural looking and we can even go into transform and play with the Z offset we want the Z offset to end on frame 40 a keyframe actually probably make it a little bit bigger just by dragging it down and go back to the beginning make it smaller and now now there's almost a 3d effect